One lung disease that affects far more women than men is asthma. According to the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, women account for nearly 65% of asthma deaths. African American women have the highest asthma mortality rates of all groups, more than 2.5 times higher than Caucasian women. Ed Neusel, registered nurse practitioner at the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center, explains asthma and why women are more susceptible. When we're looking at asthma, it's simply a reversible airway obstruction. So we have the big breathing tube down the middle, then it divides right and left and divides out until we, where we finally get the breathing to occur. When we look at asthma, we're looking at the transport. What gets the air from your mouth, your nose, all the way out to where you breathe. So it's merely a transport. When we look at asthma, we're looking at obstruction of that transport line. Well, we treat asthma in several ways. We start off in this stage effect where we would use a short-acting bronchodilator. The next step would be use an inhaled steroid to help control that. And if we're still having symptoms, then we go into other combination type therapies. If it's an allergy-induced asthma, there's different things you can do, such as environmental modifications. And although we've talked about that in the past, uh, if we know that allergies are a trigger, and we know that the allergies are prevalent at this time, you try to reduce the amount of outdoor exposure uh, if you can. If they're outside for a period of time, it's on you. I don't care if you're sitting at a picnic and you don't even get sweat. Uh, the pollen's on you, you're dirty. You need to rinse out the hair, you need to rinse out your eyes, rinse out your nose, because these are the areas where pollen can collect. Sometimes hard for ladies to rinse their hair out on a regular basis. I don't tell them anymore, wash your hair, because we don't need the soap. We just need to rinse the pollen out, because when you go to bed, think about the fact all that pollen in your hair, you're now laying in the pollen for the entire night. So it makes a big difference by just practicing some of these environmental modifications. You can greatly reduce your symptoms when it comes to asthma. You can map the location for the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center in the villages when you check out the exclusive Hometown Health Specialist Directory or click the Asthma in Women story link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.